Welcome to today's tutorial on Slappers. This plugin is featured in Server Maker MCPE. Let's get started. So everybody wants to make these cool and crazy little things that say messages and you know you could slap them and they actually will like teleport you somewhere. Well they're called Slappers. So we're going to get into how you work with these and kind of how you can function with just the basics. So for everybody that's kind of new to it, all you're going to want to do is forward slash slapper help. Okay, and when you type that in, that's actually going to bring up that page that was just up there. As you can see, I got a double of it now. But uh, yeah, it, they're really quick. There's not a whole lot of commands to it. It's just how lengthy of a command you can make for it. Okay, so remember that. What you see here, it's, it doesn't really explain much. But if you kind of get the grasps of it, then what, later on when you're doing bigger ones or you're making more commands added to each one of these slappers, it becomes a lot easier because now you know like the the basics on how it's supposed to be set up. So really quick, we're just gonna go over spawning in a slapper. So there's a couple different varieties and ways you can do. Um, there's mobs that you can spawn in, there are players that you can spawn in, and then there's also words like, uh, like welcome to the server, you know, you can have that put up. Now that's done a little bit differently than just actually spawning in a player itself. So, but let's just spawn you guys something really quick just to show you what I'm talking about. So we'll do slapper, Oh, if we could spell. Slapper spawn player. And then now we're going to want to say give it maybe a cool name above it so that, you know, people know what it is. And then we'll say test. How about that? Nope. Let's change the color first. Because you can definitely add colors with them. So that's a pretty cool feature. So we'll call him test. All right. So then you just hit OK. You put him in. And now because I did player it's actually going to spawn me itself. Uh, now there's also other options that you can do that way you can figure out, you know, like say you want to do a chicken or a cow or an enderman or a creeper, whatever, you know, you could think of, you have that option. You can put those guys down and then you can give them like a little name uh, to put above it. Now, as you can see, he's just a slapper. Like he's just pretty much a, a statue there. He doesn't really do much. Now, if you wanted to actually add something to him, so say we want him to, oh, I don't know. He could talk to us and, and say something, okay? So let's say we do, well, we got to find out what ID number he is. That's going to be a main key. We got to know what he is. So slapper ID, all right? And then when you click that in there, it's going to say, you know, hit an entity to figure out his number. So we're going to tap that right there and we'll go back into our chat. And it's going to tell you entity ID is 7054. So that's a big thing. You're going to want to know that number, okay? So once we get done with that and we have that little command set and we found out his number, all you're going to want to do is go back in and do forward slash slapper edit. Now take that number that we got just a minute ago, okay, 7054. And now this is where it's going to come part of the adding commands and, and abilities for these guys, all right? So now that we have that guy in there, we want to make him talk. All right, so we're going to do um, add command. All right, and then we'll do say, um, what are we going to do? Do we want to do player? Get these little brackets. See, now this is where it's going to be coming a little more uh, complex, I guess. Just because you're going to have to figure out what you're doing, if it's going to be a player, if it's going to be a, a command that it runs, or if it's just going to be something that sits stationary. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it say something to a player, um, and then the message will be, um, hi, how are you? Okay. So then once you're done with that, you get your little message in there. So you got the slapper, edit command, the ID number for it, add command is what we're going to be doing to this and it's going to say to player that touches it hi how are you okay so then we hit okay command has been added so now we click that there and as you can see server snow driven says to me hi how are you it's pretty neat huh pretty pretty cool now you can have him give you items you can have him you know warp you to other areas um, there's there's a lot of things you can actually do with these now, if there's, say there's like kind of a, an issue going on with them and they're not quite, kind of working right and there was an update that was brought out, all you have to do 
instead of reprogramming uh, reprogramming all of them all over again, you're just going to go and you're going to do slapper. Oop, I'm going to put the other P in there. And then you do update. All right, and when you do this, this is actually just going to update it to the current version, and it's going to make them all currently working all over again. Uh, so that's pretty easy there. You don't have to do that very often. It's going to be very, very rarely. Now, you can also go into here, and you can change, like, armor. Uh, you can put a sword in their hand, save when you spawned it, and you didn't have all these things. Well, you can actually go back later and just put that ID number in, and that will allow you to actually change that. So... Um, but then you got to just go in, it's kind of more figuring out these numbers and, and, uh, pretty much the codes that for all the items are. So you, once you figure out the codes for items, you can go back in and you can add them right to these slappers as long as you know the codes. Um, it's not really hard. Like I said, it's more just kind of looking up online these, these command codes for the actual items. And once you have that, what I've pretty much showed you now is pretty much the basics of making a slapper. Um, you're going to have to obviously go through and make them a little more complex because by adding more commands to it, it can do multiple things. Uh, I kind of think of it as like a mini command block in, in a sense. Uh, so that's that's that there. Now we're going to want to say you messed up actually later on or you know earlier in the game and you messed something up and it didn't work proper. Well, you want to get rid of it now because you know you can't delete it, you can't break them, you can't you know just kind of get rid of them in any way. So this is how you do that. You're just going to go back into here. Oh, I was spamming it. <laughs> uh, slapper, remove. Okay. And I'll say, go ahead and hit that entity to remove him. So now I'm going to slap him, and there he goes. He just disappears, and he's gone. So that's the, pretty much the basics, like I said. All you got to do is do slapper help, and that'll bring up the, the common command list that you're going to need to know for all these guys. And like I said, we went over the basics of them, so we spawned it in. We did edit a slapper. We've, you know, changed them around a bit. We've also did remove to get rid of them, and I showed you how to update it. Canceling, I haven't really used yet because I haven't needed it, but I'm pretty sure that's for in case, like, something didn't work and you just want to get rid of them as well or cancel out the command that you just, you just put onto it. You can cancel it out that way. So if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up. Definitely some comments down below letting us know what you thought about it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.